Find the magnitude and the direction of the vectors. Now remember, I'm giving you a graph because I need you guys to graph it. So first, my vector is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this is my vector. Now, whenever they're asking you for the magnitude, they're asking you for the length. And if they're asking you for the direction, they are asking you for the angle. So we know the angle has to be greater than 270. Now, to find the magnitude, we have the following formula. The magnitude is equal to the square root of a square plus b square. And basically, you just uh, form in a right triangle and you find in the hypotenuse. So the magnitude of the first vector is going to be the square root of 5 square plus negative 6 square. So therefore, it will be 25 plus 36, which will be 61. And the square root of 61 will be 7.8. So the magnitude of the first vector will be 7.8. And now they're looking for the direction. The direction will be given to you by the tangent of the angle is y over x or b over a. b over a, so in this case will be negative 6 over 5. I'm going to take the inverse. And I'm just going to use my calculator to find so the inverse. I'm going to use my fraction bar and I'll be negative 6 divided by 5. Close my parenthesis. And I'll be negative 50 degrees. Now, this is the angle that the calculator is giving you negative 50 degrees. I want the positive version of it. So therefore, I'm just going to add 360. And that gives me 309.8. So I'm just going to round it up to 310 degrees. Correct? If you add 360, it gives you 310 degrees. And that is the angle of that vector. Now for letter B. We have negative 1 and positive 4. And that is the vector. Now remember that whenever they're asking you for the magnitude, they're asking you for the length. And they're asking for the direction, they're asking you for the angle. So I know that the angle has to be greater than 90 degrees. And we have the magnitude. It basically, you're looking for, if you make a right triangle, this is 1, this is uh, negative 1, this is 4. But it will be just basically the square root of a square, which is negative 1 square, plus 4 square. So therefore, the square root of 1 plus 16. So the square root of 17. And the square root of 17 will be 4.1. And to be able to find the angle, that will be the tangent of y over x or b over a. So it will be 4 over negative 1. And I'm just going to go ahead and take the inverse. And I'm going to use my calculator. 4 divided by negative 1 is negative 4. So therefore, the inverse tangent of negative 4 close my parenthesis and that gives me negative 76 degrees so negative 76 degrees is over here I want the positive version of it so therefore remember that you, for tangents your calculator is giving you this angle here and I need to be able to find this angle so I just need to be able to add 180 and that gives me 104 degrees and that is the angle that I'm looking for 
you want the positive value of 